Happy Friday. So today we're going to do a review of the granulator. So I'm going to explain just real briefly. Many of you already know how this works, but how a granulator works, the principle. So this here is the screen cradle, which goes up and down hydraulically on this particular unit. Some are just jack screws or a, or a, 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 a just a crank to open and close, but this one's hydraulic. So this screen will sit up in here on the bottom and the material will get cut between the blade, the rota rotating blade, or we call it the fly blade, and the bed blade. It'll get cut and then fall down into the screen. If it's small enough, it will fall through the screen, which is what you really want to happen. And if it's not small enough, it will come back around and get another shot at getting chopped. And you'll do that again and again until it's small enough to fall through the screen. So if you're chopping number one wire, um, this these are really, really good for that. Um, if you're chopping number one wire, you can do number two. But when you get into the low grades and the the, the, the lower types of material, that's when we suggest a vertical mill. Anyways, so the there's a few things about uh, this granulator that I really like. One is the rotor. We like using this rotor. We've, we've switched a while ago um, to, to, you know, on this style to using a staggered tooth rotor. And there's a few reasons, and I'll give you the downside of it as well. But the uh, this here, it cuts, as it's cutting, you have 100, in this case, this machine's 120 horsepower. You have 120 horsepower for this one blade. So as this is cutting, only this is cutting, and you have 120 horsepower on this little section. So you have a lot more torque uh, and a lot more momentum on one blade. Then it goes from this blade, that blade is set back a little bit more, and then this one, and then that one, and this one, and then that one, and then the one there below. And there's five rows of staggered uh, teeth like this. So as this, these knives cut, and then they're done with, this, the, with, this, with the cutting, then their next row is right behind that, and it starts all over again. You have five rows of, of blades like this. So what that does, you have a lot more power at one tooth. If you have one blade going all the way across, like I'll show you on another machine, um, that, that power, that stopping power of that one complete blade coming around and hitting that other blade is a lot higher. You have a lot more resistance, whereas here you have less resistance. It's just trying to cut at one point at a time. So uh, you can do a lot more throughput with a lot less horsepower. Um, so the downside of a rotor like this is blade changes. Blade changes take longer. There's more bolts uh, to, to do. Uh, so you're going to typically take uh, uh, quite a bit longer at changing the blades. Uh, but it is still uh, designed in a way where it can be done pretty fast. You see yeah, there's, a, there's some adjusting screws there in the bottom of the blade. And there's a jig that the blades sit in. So once all the blades are out and they're sharpened, you set them in the jig and you just adjust the, each one to, to the bottom of the jig and you make them all the same, you drop them in. So all of these are adjusted the same and you don't have to adjust them, you don't have to fine tune them in the machine. You just adjust the back screw, slide them in, tighten them, and then you adjust this blade here, which is below here, you adjust this to the blades and that's it. Now, um, the, uh, the other benefit of a rotor like this is you can go a lot longer between blade changes than you can with, uh, with a, a traditional style. Uh, because this is not a scissor cut, it's just a snipping action and uh, they tend to, to, uh, you tend to be able to do a lot more throughput between blade changes. The other benefit, which is why there's more benefits than downsides, the other benefit um, is that if you do break a blade or chip a blade or crack a blade, you're just replacing one blade. You're not replacing a whole big blade. So less material uh, cost there. Uh, now this has a solid rotor and a solid flywheel. So a lot, a lot of momentum there. Um, and it's a split style design on the bottom tray. So the trough is split into two sides and they, the material falls into this pipe and the material, the other half falls into the back pipe. And then the material joins here uh, into one pipe. So this reduces the need for an auger. Uh, on our larger granulators, we have an auger in, in the base, but when you have this style, you don't have to do that. Uh, here's the hydraulic power pack, which opens the hopper and, uh, and also opens the, the, the screen cradle that's in the bottom, the 120 horsepower motor right here, and, uh, and on this side, the belt guard. So this is getting ready to to ship out here uh, shortly. So now the other style granulator, just for comparison, uh, this is an old one that we're refurbishing for a customer. Uh, you, we have here a 
uh, one blade going across. You can see it's a bit of an angle, so a scissor. So they're with this, they're still trying to achieve the same thing by having the pressure be here, uh, you know, not as much, but it still doesn't achieve the same. So when you come through here and it cuts, you have a lot more restriction uh, in this, you know, in this section than if it was just a single blade. Uh, and obviously there's no screens in the bottom right now, but there will be a screen and the hopper for that is, is right there. Um, so these are a little bit simpler to change the blades. You just, you know, sharpen the blades all the same and then just a couple bolts and you ch change this out. This has three rotor blades and one bed blade. So quicker to do a uh, blade changes, but like I mentioned, um, it, you're going to be changing blades more often. So this one has uh, solid flywheel and solid pulley. This one here does not have the solid flywheel, uh, but it has, you know, has a pulley uh, in the, in there. So, uh, so that's why we really like this style here. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a uh, really robust granulator. And uh, if you're not doing super low grades, uh, this is what I would recommend as a, as a first pass and then from here into a zigzag and a turbo uh, or just through a turbo depending on what type of material uh, that you're running. We can even see the bearings, everything is just really massive and solid, big bearings. So it's a, a good unit. So like, comment, subscribe if you have any questions, post them down in the comments. Feel free to reach out to us directly and uh, we'll go from there. Happy Friday, we'll catch you in the next one.